Hey guys, how you doing today? I hope you guys are doing great and beautiful and awesome and German. <laughs> I've been doing great here in Dallas, Texas. I hope um, everybody can see me as you're joining me. Tell me your name and the city you're joining me from. I'm starting a new series. It's called The Billionaire Chart. Today is the first day. Tomorrow, I'm going to be having Grand Cardon, okay, who is going to be giving a version of this same conversation, and I promise you it's going to be a life-changing conversation. However, today, tomorrow's event, I'm going to be giving a, um, a Zoom link for you to be able to register. So, for all of you who wait till the end of today's conversation, you will be getting a Zoom link to join in tomorrow's conversation. Uh, where I'm going to be having Grand Cardone Life. Grand Cardone has built an $8 billion real estate empire. Can you see him here? All right, so I'm going to be having Grand Cardone Life. It's going to be amazing tomorrow. Uh, but today I want to give you my own version of how to become a billionaire. So I'll start with my background. I started my business 14 years ago in Nigeria with just a thousand Nigerian Naira. Okay, and I built it to a multi-million, a multi-billion Naira corporation uh, worth over 100, billion, 100 million dollars as well. And we're about doing the same in America. We're getting our first property here, 54 acre. We already made a bid for it. And we'll be doing our first estate here in Dallas. It's going to be amazing. How many of you are excited about that? If you're excited about uh, our first estate in America, a 54-acre property, type I'm excited. Come on, talk to me. If you're excited, type I'm excited. So I'll be sharing with you today because, again, my rule is I want to democratize the concept of building wealth. I think the world has make a mess of what we do. We have somehow people have convinced us that poverty is good and there's nothing good about poverty. It took my mother dying, okay, for me um, to begin to realize that there's nothing special about poverty. There's nothing good. There's nothing to be happy about being poor. And I vowed I'm going to help as many people as possible. I'm going to educate people. I'm going to share my story. The ones I can share for free, I will share. The one I can charge, I will charge. But I'm going to help as many people as possible. Some are going to enjoy it. Some are not going to enjoy it. But that's your business. If you don't like my message, you have the right not to like it. It was your choice. You love poverty more than wealth. That's okay. <laughs> you don't believe anybody can be a billionaire. That's okay. You think the whole concept of being a billionaire is being selfish and um, whatever you call it, that's okay. But I've chosen my part and it's working for me and I'm enjoying it. So I have a couple of people here. Don T, Baba, from Maryland, right? USA, thank you for joining. Victoria from Obomosho or your state. I have Dami Lola from Lagos. Tell me where you're joining me from. Share this video as many times, 10 times on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on LinkedIn. Franklin from Abeokuta. Okay, everybody share this video right now across all social media platforms. I want it to go viral. I've never taught this topic before. How to become a billionaire, right? So, like I said, I'm a billionaire in Naira and I've, I'm on my way to doing it in dollars. In fact, I've given myself five years in America to build a billion dollar real estate empire. Right? Five years. That's what I've given myself. Debbie from Chicago. How are you, Debbie? Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Honorable Jewel from Enugu. How are you, Honorable Jewel? Um, this one from Dubai. Dubai should be late by now. You Wow. Thank you for joining. I can be from Ohio. How is our Ohio today? Beniza from Ghana. How is Ghana today? Um, I can see Bashman from Jamaica is here. Uh, Mogakwe from South Africa. How are you? 
Guys, uh, those of you from South Africa, I want to meet Vusi. Everywhere I go, people tell me, you and Vusi are doing great. And I'm like, I've never met the guy. I love to meet him. Francis from Sao Paulo. Uh, Abraham from Lutania. I've never been to Lutania before. Daniel from Turkey. Guys, come on, celebrate our global audience. Can somebody clap for our global audience? Um, I'm excited that I have one of the most diverse, uh, um, you know, whenever I do my show, I have people from different parts of the world joining us. And it's just amazing. And I'm always humbled by the love, by all of you who follow my brand. Conakry is here. Vak from Conakry. Uh, Clinton from Ken Kenny. Okay, no, Redemption Camp. I thought Kenya. Uh, Hamzad from Lagos. Um, Chibuza from Australia, um, Gabriel from South Korea, Francis from Meduguri. Welcome, welcome everybody. Come on. I'm excited to have you guys here. Hama Sule from Austin, Texas. Hama, I hope you've gotten your ticket for the Global World Festival here in Dallas, 16th of July. Have you gotten your ticket? If you've gotten your ticket, let me know. If you have not, go right now. Global uh, um, globalworldfestival.com go get your ticket ASAP I will see if I'm led I may give you guys discount for the event today, I'll give you a ticket to give you discount, Clinton from Israel welcome everybody, so please share this video 50 times, 10 times on Facebook or WhatsApp or LinkedIn, are you guys ready? are you ready for today's talk? if you're ready, type I'm ready, Zulu from Dallas, Texas, Zulu I hope you've gotten your ticket as well Okay, four ways, uh, our four strategy to become a billionaire, whether in Naira, whether in dollars, whether in Chinese yuan, whether in dirhams, Dubai currency, it doesn't matter the currency of the world, money is money, uh, okay, and uh, four ways to do that. So if you're ready for me, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, remember, share this video at least 10 times, Facebook, WhatsApp, all groups you know, number one. Have a universally needed product. Everybody type, have a universally needed product. Come on, everybody type it. Have a universally needed product. You know, one of the biggest mistakes people make is that you start a business and the business is not needed universally. In other words, uh, they need my product in, in my city, but they don't need it in Kenya. They don't need it in Zimbabwe. When I go to Australia, they don't need it. When I go to, to Zambia, they don't need it. When I come to Maryland, they don't need it. In New York, they don't need it. You must, number one way to become a billionaire, have a universally needed product. Right? Product that is needed globally. So yesterday, I met Bishop T.D. Jakes. How many of you know Bishop T.D. Jakes? Okay? How many of you met him? You know, I many of you know him. You may not have met him before, but I many of you know Bishop T. J. X. If you know him, type I know him. I know him. Remember, I love engagement when I teach like this. I love engagement. So I was in Bishop T. J. X. Church yesterday. Uh, it was their twenty-sixth uh, um, year anniversary, and after the event, I got an opportunity to meet Bishop T. J. X. And it was amazing uh, sharing with him what I do. How we're one of the largest real estate company in Nigeria, and we've expanded to Dallas. We're, we're launching our first estate here in Dallas. You know what I shared with him? He said, "You know what?" He said, "Dr. Stephen, I'm also into real estate." I said, "Really?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "I'm also into real estate, and voila!" He says he wants to partner, and let's see how we can do business together. But guess what? If real estate were not to be a universally needed product, I couldn't have come to America and begin to start my real estate company just like that, right? I have done real estate in Africa. I've done it in Dubai. I've done it in, 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 in the UK. And I'm expanding as well in the US as well, right? In a big way. But if real estate wasn't a universally needed product, I hope you're learning, guys, okay? If it wasn't a universally needed product, suddenly I have... Uh, uh, I'm known, I'm doing well in Nigeria, but I will not be able to expand to other parts of the world. I will not be able to do that in other parts of the world. Let me play you the video of TDJ yesterday.
Uh, so let me play the video for you. Um, so my, my meeting with TDJ is yesterday. Hello, we are one of the largest developers in Nigeria and we're expanding here. Wow. Uh, yes, so I was blessed. I have a real estate firm too, so wow. yeah, we have a TDK Rebus real estate ventures. Wow. So we're building communities all over the country. They stay coming to some of the I'm gonna get him right here to help you. So, um, but the lesson um, from that video is that there is no way Bishop TGJ will be saying, hey, connect with my guys, let's do business together. If, you know, real estate isn't needed in America, the same way it's needed in Africa. Are you learning something? If you're learning type, I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay, so have a universally needed product. Don't have a product where they only need it in a part of the world. So how many of you have made this mistake, by the way? Um, I'm, by the way, how many of you are entrepreneurs here? Yeah, let me even know those who are entrepreneurs. If you're an entrepreneur, you own a business, you've run a business before, type, I'm an entrepreneur or I own a business. Okay, now how many of you among those of you who are entrepreneurs who are typing, I'm an entrepreneur, have made this mistake before? Where you have a product... But it's not a universally needed product. It's not a universally accepted product. It's not drawing the same value across the globe. Okay? So you see people who are into real estate, for, uh, who are into a particular business, right? But they don't, that business is not needed globally. So once it's not needed globally, you can't be a billionaire. Because the concept of becoming a billionaire is volume. And volume is a function of quantity of needs. There has to be a large number of people who need what you're, you're providing. And those large number needs to be willing to pay you for it because the value is just so powerful. And sometimes you also need to be able to replicate that model globally. Right? So there are some times where you will in no time saturate a particular sector, a particular continent, a particular country. I'm already one of the biggest developers in Africa, right? Already. So but I want to spread, I want to stretch. There are even a lot of technology that I'm trying to do in Nigeria that the technology doesn't even exist in Nigeria, but it exists here in, in the US. So by being able to expand to the US. In a large scale, it then becomes easy for me to be able to or, or even take some of the technology I discover here in America back to Africa and keep using it to expand what I'm doing in Africa. So number one way to become the one strategy, if you want to run a billion naira or billion dollar business, make sure you have a product that is universally needed. Are you ready for number two, by the way? If you're ready for number two tap, I'm ready, I'm ready. Remember, share this video 10 times on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on LinkedIn, across all social media platforms. Get everybody to watch this and share and share and share. Tag as many people as you can and get people on board here. I'm fired up. Come on. <laughs> but I need you to share this video right now. Okay. Share, share, share. Get everybody on board. Remember, tomorrow will be the part two of this training. And guess who I'm having here? Grant Cardon tomorrow, 1 p.m. sent CST. Okay, 1 p.m. CST tomorrow, and that will be 7 p.m. London time, 7 p.m. Uh, Nigerian time, 8 p.m. South African time, 10 p.m. Dubai time. I'm going to be having Grant Cardon here. Grant Cardon is worth eight billion dollars in real estate, and it's going to be sharing with you guys. Physically tomorrow. I hope you are ready for tomorrow. If you're ready tomorrow type, I'm ready. I'm ready. So this is a two-day series. I'm starting the first day with you guys. Um, you know, and tomorrow we're gonna to be having Grand Cardon, right? And like, remind me at the end of today's session, I'm gonna be giving you a URL link to be able to join the event with Grand Cardon tomorrow. And guess what? I'm not even gonna charge you for it. I don't know if you're happy about that. Okay, so for as many of you now, the link is not for everybody. Um, I'm just going to give you for some of you, 
um, if you wait till the end of today's class, I'll give you a unique Zoom link to be able to access the Grand Cardone event tomorrow, where he will be telling you how he built an $8 billion business here in America and how you can do it anywhere else in the world. I'm sharing mine, how I did mine way back in Africa and I'm expanding to do the same here in America, okay? And tomorrow I'm going to have somebody who's already even done it, okay? Share his experience with you. Are you excited about that? If you're excited, again, type, I'm excited, I'm excited. So number two way to build a billion dollar business, to become a billionaire, right? In terms of assets, in terms of what of your business is become the greatest salesman that ever lived. I want everybody to type it. Become the greatest salesman that ever lived. And I'm going to give you your first assignment. Your first assignment is I'm going to be giving you a book you need to read. That book changed my life. And that book is titled The Greatest Salesman That Ever Lived. The Greatest Salesman That Ever Lived. If you're going to be a billionaire, you better know how to sell. You see, people don't just become billionaires by mistake. They don't become billionaires by chance. They don't become billionaires by luck. They become billionaires by being the greatest salesman that ever lived. They understand how to sell. They are unique in the way they sell. They know how to sell. They are strategic in the way they sell. And they sell as themselves. They are very good about it. They are not trying. And let me tell you this, because this often time mistaken by a lot of people. Being a salesman does not mean you are knocking door to door asking people to buy something from you. Being a salesman means you understand how to communicate the value you carry in exchange for what you want. In many cases, cash. So, for example, who is the biggest pastor here in America? Who is black? Okay? I don't know if you would say it's T.D. Jakes. You agree, we all agree to say T.D. Jakes that I met yesterday. Right? But T.D. Jakes is the biggest preacher, black preacher, simply because T.D. Jakes understand how to market the gospel in his own unique way. I was in his church yesterday, and oh boy, I was blessed. It was as if the man was preaching strictly to me. It was as if all the thousands of people in that church don't exist. T.D. Jakes knew my story and was talking to me directly. But the man understand how to communicate Okay, how to communicate when it was time to sow seed, guys. I didn't think twice. I brought out, I, I was sowing as many seeds as I can sow. You know why I'm sowing that seed? Not because I just because I love God, not just because uh, I, I want to sow seed, not just because I'm generous, also because the man has communicated value to me. He understands how to communicate value. I felt blessed, I felt like the service was for me. So all billionaires that you've seen in their unique way have mastered the art of selling. Bill Gates years ago told us that computer is going to be in everybody's house. Many were doubting him. Is computer not in your house today? Okay, the, you know, Steve Jobs many years ago. He says, no, 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 we're not going to be carrying computers anymore. Computers will be on your palm, the palm of your finger. That's what Steve Jobs said. This is an iPhone. We all are carrying iPhone everywhere. Come on. Are you enjoying this class? If you're enjoying this type, I'm enjoying this. And share this video. Share, share, share. Share this video across all pages, all platforms. We need to begin to make conversation about creating wealth, about building wealth to go viral. If we don't know how to make conversation around building wealth, become mainstream conversation, more people are going to be poor. More people are going to think this concept of building wealth is some, you know, miraculous thing. And it's not. It's just you being educated about it. Okay? So, guys, hit the share button and share and share and share. If you're enjoying this type, I'm enjoying this. Good. I can see a lot of you are enjoying this. Don T. Baba is enjoying this. Okay? Tabo from South Africa is enjoying this. Thank you for enjoying this. So, number two, become the greatest salesman that I ever lived. Learn and master the art of communicating the value that you carry, right? So I don't sell. I tell people I'm not. I'm, I'm a good salesman, but I, I I don't sell as in come and buy, come and buy. No, 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 no. I show you the value I carry. I communicate the value I know I have. I show you. I mean, 
People shake when buying real estate from me. When I'm marketing, when I'm talking about my real estate properties with you, your hand literally will be shaking. Because when I'm done communicating the value in the asset that I'm giving you, you will be the one begging me that you need a cut in my deal. I'm not going to be the one telling you. I'm not, I'm not into that category of, oh, come and buy property from me. I don't do that. I will just communicate the value. I will show you the potential opportunity in the deals that I have. I will show you how I'm going to make you richer. I, I have right now several of my clients that in the last three years, the property they brought from me had a thousand percent return on investment. A thousand percent in three years in the land banking they did with me. A thousand percent. So you think I need to market to those people? No, I don't need to sell. I just need to communicate their stories with you. And many of them have done testimony video. So sometimes people start all this, but I don't know you. I just say, you know what? Do you know my name? Do you, can you use Google? Google me and see the testimonies of people I've helped and you can get back to me. So a good salesman is not begging people. And, and that's why many of us hate selling. Because we think it's about begging people. We think it's about disturbing people. We think it's about going to meet people and disturbing them and knocking at their door. No. Selling is about communicating the value that you carry in exchange for cash. How many times did Steve Joe beg you to buy his Apple phone? How many times? Did he beg you? Answer me, guys. Did Steve Joe have to beg you to buy an Apple phone? Yes or no? Tell me yes or no. Is Mark Zuckerberg begging you to invest in the new virtual reality, in the metaverse? Is Mark Zuckerberg begging you? The man simply is communicating the value. Go to Mark Zuckerberg's page when he talks about metaverse. When he talks about what you can begin to do with metaverse. You yourself, you'll be saying, hey, I need a cut in that deal. I need that deal. But Mark Zuckerberg has mastered the art of selling. He sold Facebook to the point, ladies and gentlemen, if Facebook were to be a country, it would be the biggest country in the world. There are over a billion people on Facebook. Right? So he has mastered the art of selling the value of Facebook to you. You, you see, Mark Zuckerberg so sold Facebook that we many of us hate Facebook, but we can't do without Facebook. You, how many of you remember the day Facebook was out for over five hours? If you remember, type I remember. How many of you remember? Come on, talk to me, guys. I need your energy here because I enjoyed this show where you are, you know, engaging me and you are sharing this link and you are pushing it across all social media platforms. Make this conversation go viral. So share, 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 share. Get everybody in here. How many of you remember the, that, the day Facebook went light up? Now, remember a few days before Facebook went off, they were literally investigating Facebook, right? The U.S. Congress literally was inviting Facebook. They were saying Facebook was doing this, Facebook was doing that. Now, since that time, did anybody harass Facebook again <laughs> since that blackout? The whole world was like, oh boy. Many people said Mark Zuckerberg took off the light because he was pissed off, right? He, he felt we, we were taken for granted, <laughs> okay? And for the first time, we all realized that, you know what, we can't do without Facebook. We may not like Facebook, but that's telling you somebody who has mastered the art of marketing. He was so good. He sold you on this thing that even though you don't like it, you still own it. <laughs> are you learning are you getting value today that is how to become a billionaire that's how to make your billions you have to so be good in communicating the value of your product in being a great salesman that nobody sees what you're selling or your product or your values and says no to you you are so irresistible now i have a question i need you to be honest okay ladies and gentlemen this is Dr. Stephen Akintayo. Am I not irresistible? Okay, talk to me, guys. Some of you don't even like my face. But we can't do but come to my page every day. <laughs> Some of you don't even like the way I talk. Some of you think I'm too braggadocious. Every day I just talk billions and billions and billions. But hey, you're still on my page. You're still here. Guess who's watching me? <laughs> so, you have to be like that. You have to be irresistible. And that's the concept of being the greatest salesman. 
You have to be irresistible. You have to be that kind of person that people just can't do without you. Because the value is the value. And they just can't do without the value that you bring. Thank you, Dante. Dante says he likes my face. Dante, Baba, I love your face as well. And I can't wait to see you in Dallas. Right? <laughs> so, but not everybody likes my face. Some people don't like my face. Some people think I'm all in people's business. Right, telling them about to be rich is everything about money, money, money. You know, we're not gonna take money to heaven. So some people don't, and it's okay. I don't expect everybody to like me. By the way, I'm still here, okay. And I'm TDJs likes me. You may not like me. Don't worry. You know, <laughs> Grand Cardone is worth eight billion dollars. He likes me, so it's okay if you don't like me. That's fine. Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, likes me. He even gave a speech about my book. He likes me. Brian Tracy likes me. Les Brown likes me. I'm okay if you don't like me. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not taking it personal. <laughs> but those of you who like me, share this video, guys. Share, share, share across all platforms. Are you ready for number three? Okay? Are you ready for number three? If you're ready for number three, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. And share this video five, ten times. Just keep sharing. I want to get us to 200, 500 viewers today. Because this is good. I'm enjoying myself, by the way. I don't know if you're enjoying what I'm teaching you today, but I'm enjoying me right? <laughs> I'm enjoying me and I'm enjoying this, okay? Um, so if you're ready for number three, type, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay? If you're ready, type, I'm ready. Good. Number three way to become a billionaire or to own a billion company or a billionaire, a billion dollar, a billion pounds, a billion yen company. Number three strategy today that I'm sharing is only quality people in your life only quality people in your life everybody type it only quality people in your life i want everybody to type that everybody here on this call if you want to be a billionaire only quality people in your life i repeat it only quality people in your life now the more quality people you have the more quality people you attract. The more quality people you have, the more quality people you attract. Many of you think this is my first time in Dallas. It's not. I've been in Dallas. I've been coming to Dallas for the last seven years. How come now everybody wants to be with me? Everybody wants my face. Everybody wants to be do things with me. You know why? I got a quality guy in my block. I'm hosting a quality guy. Many pe people have sent me messages. They said they've been trying to reach Grand Cardone all this while. And they cannot believe I'm bringing him to Dallas. A lady sent, said, said to me, I've been trying to get Grand Cardone on my deals. I have some good real estate. I've been trying to get Grand Cardone to join, to invest, or to bring his people to invest. But I've never been able to get his attention. I'm excited you're bringing him to Dallas. So the quality relationship with Grand Cardone with Stephen Akintayo, what is he doing? He's attracting more quality people, and then more quality people, and then more quality people, and then more quality people. Do you see how this thing works? Right? That quality relationship is one of the reasons why TDJX agreed to meet me. That quality relationship, quality people around me is the reason why TDJX say, hey, connect him with my people. Let's do business. Let's do real estate together across the country. Let's do real estate together. The reason he's having that conversation with me, ladies and gentlemen, is because of the quality people in my life. So you need to quit all this. Everybody around you is poor. Everybody around you is having problems. Let me say this. There is no monopoly of problem. There is no single human being that has all the problems in the world. We all have problems. So stop threatening us with your problem. Stop intimidating us with your problem. Stop talking to us as if you're the only one that has problems. We all have problems in our lives. We all do, including myself. But when you flip the coin and say, despite the problem that I have, I want to be a quality person. I want to be the guy that brings value to the, to the table. I want to be the guy that thinks of what to give instead of what to get. I'm the guy that when I meet people, I mean, watch that video. I'm going to play that video with you again. After I told TDJX that I'm into real estate, 
and I'm buying my first property in Dallas. Hear what he said to me. He said, he's also into real estate. And hear this, hear this. I will. Now, whoever gets this, maybe you'll get a digital copy of my book. I'm going to give you a digital copy of my book. It's a 60 seconds deal. It's a 60 second deal. And I want you to listen. So the question, did you get, who got the, what I'm trying to uh, uh, analyze here? Remember here, you saw TDJ says, I'm also into real estate, right? Now, hear this very well. What do you think I said there that was a game changer? Who can tell me? What was it that I said there when TDJ told me he was into real estate? Who noticed that? Who, who heard that? If you, The first person to give me the right answer, I'm going to give you my 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 book called the billionaire code right this is a powerful book that's going to change your life forever so you want to get that book so who can who notice what i said there no 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 that's not it Did somebody say play it again uh obia no send me a dm to my instagram page dr s akintai i'm going to give you my book the billionaire code you have won my book my latest book the billionaire code um I, but but send me an instagram not here on facebook instagram dm right and you will get the, the digital copy of that book it's 47 dollars. you're getting it for free you got the answer he got the answer very well i was the one that asked td jakes how can we partner how can we do business together how can we work together? How can I add value? How can I partner with you? Right? How can I partner with you? And this is where we often miss it. So first thing, only quality people, but you shouldn't just have quality people without seeking partnership with them. When you meet quality people, be willing to do business. Be willing to expand. Don't just miss quality person and just say, Oh, Dr. Stevie, I love you. I love that you chatted me. I love that you. I have your number. You, you have my number. I'm not going to eat your number. Right? What does your number do to me? What value does your number bring? Yeah, Dr. Stevie, I'm happy I have somebody like you in my life. Yeah, yeah. But hey, what does having me in your life do? So you have to flip it and say, hey, how do we, you have to think of partnership. How do you partner with Dr. Steven? Oh, sure, if you do buy real estate from him, he's going to treat you differently. You are now his client. Oh, sure, you are. <laughs> okay, by the time millions start exchanging hands between me and T.D. Jakes, sure, it will, well, well, it's not... So there will be people who will get jealous and say, hey, I've known T.D. Jakes for all these years. He never gave me this attention. Yeah, but you're not partner with T.D. Jakes. You didn't partner with the guy. Right? You didn't partner with him. So when quality, only quality people, number three, if you're going to be a billionaire, you have to start surrounding yourself with quality people. And these are the two types of quality people. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to hear the two types of quality people? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? If you're ready, type I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay? Two types of quality people. Now, gate number one is called gate owners. Everybody type gate owners. Gate owners. Number two is type is 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 called the networkers. So there are gate owners and there are networkers. So what do we mean by that? 
They are the people who own the gate. The governor of Texas owns Texas by law. Right? He owns the gate. Bishop T.D. Jakes owns the city of Dallas by influence. The man can call any wealthy person in the world, particularly in America, in a phone dial and they're going to pick his call. He's been pastors to presidents of America for years and years and years. That is a gate owner. Now, they are now networkers. They don't own the gate, but they can network with people who own the gate. Right? So right now, yesterday after I left TDJX, I went to meet a gentleman. This man is the only African, black, whether African-American, whether immigrant, the only who has ever hosted the governor of Texas in his house. He hosted the former governor of Texas. He hosted the current governor of Texas. Right? He's met all the presidents. In fact, Donald Trump was supposed to be his house before COVID hit. He, his house. When you go to his house, it's like a museum. His house. He's a black guy. I went to meet him yesterday. That is a gate networker. Because I'm coming to the city of Tex to the city of Dallas, the state of Texas. I want to do real estate. I need permits. I need there's so many things. Right? I'll be foolish to start investing hundreds of millions of dollars in Texas without knowing the governor or knowing somebody who knows the governor or somebody who can link me with the governor. Are you getting it now? You want to be a billionaire? You better, you know, have quality people. And if you're going to have quality people, remember there are two of them. There are two types of them. Some don't have the money, but they can take you to the gate owners. And some own the gates. They are big. They are macho. People bring people to them. And you better be willing to go meet them in their gates. Okay? Not in your gate. You have to be willing to work with the networkers to take you to their gate. Are you learning, guys? Right? Are you learning, guys? If you are learning, tap, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay? He's not the only guy who has met the governor of Texas. So he's the only black that has hosted the governor of Texas in his house. It's not that he met them. They came to his house. They visited his house. So you, that's the difference. I mean, I, a lot of people have met the governor of Texas. They've met, I mean, he's the governor. You can easily meet governors here. But for the governor to come to your house, your house, visited you in your house, okay? Sat down and was part of a meeting in your house and probably ate food, as he is the first person to do that in the state of Texas, right? So he's the only black that has hosted the governor of Texas in his house, the former governor and even the current governor of Texas. So my point is that guy is a, is a networker. Powerful networker. He can get me to anybody, right? He understands how to create the network. He has the network. He may not own the gates. He may not be the governor. He may not be the this or the richest guy in Texas. But he sure knows how to get me to the richest guys in Texas. He sure knows how to get me to the governor of Texas. Are we learning at all? If you're learning, type, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Are you learning? And are you excited about what you're learning today? Okay? Okay. Are you ready for number four? Remember, share this video 50 times on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on LinkedIn, across all social media platforms. Share, 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 and get everybody here. Now, those of you who wait till the end, I'm going to be giving you a link to tomorrow's class with Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone will be live with you guys tomorrow. He will be live himself. Yes, you heard me. Grant Cardone will be live himself tomorrow. He's going to be sharing with you how he did $8 billion, right, in these years here in America. So uh, if you wait to the end, I'm going to give you the Zoom link for you to be able to attend tomorrow for free. You don't even need to pay anything to attend. But you have to wait till the end because that's when I'm going to give the link. Also, if you wait till the end, I'm going to be giving you a discount on the Global uh, Wealth Festival holding here in Dallas, Texas. The event 
is both in person and virtual right so i'm gonna so you can attend from anywhere in the world virtually and if you are in the u.s you can fly down in summer you can come do your vacation here in dallas and be part of the event in person i'll be giving you discount now the, t the cheapest ticket is a thousand dollars but how many of you are excited i will get some of you to pay just three hundred dollars but you have to pay in the next one hour okay but i'll give you that after the event so who is interested if you're interested in the $300 ticket, okay, for the fiscal ticket to the event, type I'm interested, I'm interested. Can I see your hands up if you're interested, right? Of course, for the virtual ticket as well, I will give you opportunity to pay just $47 as well, okay? But if you're interested, you have to show that you're interested. Okay, good. I can see many of you are interested. Number four, if you want to be a billionaire, own a billion dollar or nera or dirhams or yen company okay if you want to own that number four thing you must do okay is get a billionaire mentor okay be ready of course to pay millions to have such everybody type it get a billionaire mentor if you want to be a billionaire yourself you have to get a billionaire mentor and you have to be ready to pay millions to attract a billionaire mentor. One of the biggest mistakes people have made is expecting people to mentor them for free. Right? People literally expect um, a billionaire to leave his business and begin to show you how you can grow your business for free. It doesn't work that way, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't work that way. If you want to have somebody be your mentor, you have to be willing to pay. It's not going to be free. It will not be free. Right? It will not be free. It will come at a cost. But if you don't pay the price, you will never be able to operate at that level. Every billionaire had somebody who really held their hands, who showed them the way. Somebody who understood the path, who mentored them in one shape or form. You have to get somebody in your corner. Now, there is a big sacrifice. There's a big price to pay if you don't have a billionaire mentor and you're trying to be a billionaire yourself. There's a huge price to pay. And many of us cannot even afford to pay it because it's just going to be too big. It's just going to be too big. Let me give you an example. I said to myself, I have built a billion, multi-billion naira corporation in Africa, right? But you know what? It's time to do it in America. Because if you can't be a billionaire in dollars, right? If you look at the current state of Amer Africa and how our currency is being devalued, recession is about to come, right? Just being a billionaire in African currency doesn't make sense. I want to be a billionaire in dollars. So what did I say to myself? I need somebody who's done it. And I saw, oh, Grant is doing it in the real estate sector. The guy is what, $8 billion? I said, yeah, that's the man I'm going to go for. So let me show you this. So that, because again, my secret is this. There's no pretense here. Whatever you see me do, okay, I pay the price. Now, I mean, how much can you guys see here? This is my contract hosting Grand Cardone in Dallas. How much did you see? Can you type the amount you can see? If you can see it, type the amount. Can you see it? You see it, type I can see it. Can you see it? Can you see the amount? I want you to type it if you can see the amount. Type it on the screen. Type it. Type it right now. Okay? Can you see it? Somebody says it's upside down. No, it's not upside down. That's the way it should be. Can you see it now? Anybody who can see it can just type it. How about right now? Can you see it? I'm surprised, you know, you guys are saying it's upside down. 
Can you see now? What can you see? If you can see, type what you see. I'm talking about the amount here. The amount. Okay, let me zoom it. Let me zoom it. Is it clearer now? Okay, so it's not two million, it's two hundred thousand dollars. Right? It's two hundred thousand dollars. Let me show you the second one. Okay. So for me to host grants in, in dollars, that's the amount I paid. Can you see the second one? This is for London, Dubai, and Nigeria. London, Dubai, and Nigeria. Can you see it? Uh, let me see. This is going upside down. Okay, can you see it now? Somebody says can't see it. I should zoom it. Okay. What do you see here? Can you see it now? This is for London, Dubai, and Nigeria. That's $1.35 million. You want a billionaire mentor, you better be willing to pay millions for it. It's not going to be cheap. But you watch me. I give myself five years. I'm going to own a billion dollar real estate asset here in America. Aside the ones I have in other parts of the world. Five years. Five years with a mentor has done it because i'm not going to reinvent the wheel i'm not going to waste my time making mistakes i'm not going to waste my time losing money i have people to hold my hands if i'm going through trouble i can reach out to them they can call their lawyers for me they can call their attorneys they can call their accountants for me they can run so much favor for me but you see it's not going to be free type is not going to be free everybody type is not going to be free so then, so in total, I'm spending $1.6 million to host Grand Cardone in four continents. But that's what it, it takes to be able to get proximity, to be able to get deeper relationship beyond just the role we meet, we've met a couple of times. I want something deeper. I want partnership. I told you earlier, partnership, partnership, where money is exchanging hands. Partnership. That's how you want to go. But for that to happen, you have to have a billionaire mentor. I want everybody to type here, I am going to get a billionaire mentor. Everybody type it. I'm going to get a billionaire mentor. I want all of you to type it. I am going to get a billionaire mentor. So you need somebody to hold you. You need somebody to mentor you. You need somebody to help you. You ain't going to do it by yourself. If it's possible, you will have done it all this while. Right? You will have done it all this way. If you could have done it all by yourself, you will have been a billionaire by now. But because you need help, you need somebody ahead of you to hold you by the hand and say, don't go there, go here, do it this way, call this person, to be watchful of this pitfall. Right? That's how you get this done. But if it's going to happen, it's not going to be free. It's going to come at the cost are you happy being here i don't know if you are happy like type happy i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy if you're happy learning how to be a billionaire or how to own a billion naira or billion dollar company if you're happy type i'm happy so i'm going to do a recap and i'm giving you the gifts that i have for you today okay are you happy for that number one i shared today is that you must have a universally needed product if you want to be a billionaire you must have a universally needed product. It cannot be a product that is needed by some race, not needed by some race. Blacks need real estate. White needs real estate. Hispanic needs real estate. Everybody in this world needs shelter. That's why I do real estate. Right? If you're in food business, similarly. But again, you have to find a way to create a cuisine that can be accepted, that can be consumed by all race in the world. Because if you have a cuisine, and that's one of the mistakes a lot of African restaurants are making in America, right? If you have a cuisine, and those cuisine is only consumed by a particular race, 
you limit how much money you, you can make. Now you don't have a universally needed product. You only have a Nigerian needed product, a Ghanaian needed product, a South, uh, 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 South Africans. And how many of South Africans are even here in the US? So you've limited how much money you can make. So number one, have a universally needed product. Number two, become the greatest salesman that ever lived. You have to be able to understand. I told you the new definition of sales. Sales is not selling. It's not come and buy. It's not knocking on doors. Sales is the exchange of value for cash. It's being able to communicate the value that you offer. Communicating the value that you have in exchange for money. Being able to communicate value. Value is powerful. You have to be able to offer value to people. In exchange, you have to make people see the value that you have. Right? And that is how to become wealthy, ladies and gentlemen. Number three. Are you ready for number three? Okay? Only quality people. You can type it, only quality people. And when you meet quality people, make sure you partner with them. Not just selfie, not just paparazzi, not just, oh, you know, uh, I met Dr. Steven today in Dallas. He's a rich man. He's a billionaire. Yeah, that's good. But partner, partner. Let most money exchange hands. Let business be done. Okay? Provide some value in exchange. Let him give you value in exchange. Now you can say, I've invested. I'm an investor with Dr. Steven. That's a better way than just, oh, I met him. Oh, we took picture. Number two things I shared here is that there are two types of quality people. There are networkers and there are gate owners. Gate owners are wealthy people. They own businesses. They own things. They are big, Right? And then the second category of people are networkers. They don't own, but they can take you to anybody you want to meet in this world. They are good networkers. So you need those two people in your life. In your only quality people, you need them. You must get them. If you don't get them, I wouldn't have met Dr. Uh, uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes without um, uh, a wonderful lady, Dr. Cheryl, that I met here, who is a powerful networker. She has one of the biggest pantry here in Dallas. That relationship, that quality relationship, right, opened the door to meeting to DJX. Do you see how this thing works? Okay? So you must understand how this thing works. It's about quality people. In fact, there are times where, well, let me share this secret with you. Don't tell anybody. There are some quality people that I did things for for free just so that it's in the record that they are my clients, okay? And people out there never knew that I didn't charge them. And just assume that if this kind of person is patronizing Dr. Steven, wow, I better do as well. Do you see how powerful quality people can? In fact, just my meeting TD Jakes yesterday, do you know how many people are reaching out to me that they want to buy real estate? Almost as if TDJX equals, <laughs> I don't even understand. I, I was shocked. I was still sharing with my friends. I don't understand this. I met TDJX yesterday and people started reaching out to me and said, we saw you with TDJX. How can I buy your property? I'm like, oh, really? I didn't know that <laughs> being with TDJX is the license for you guys to now do business with me. But that's just how it works. Right? Quality people attract more quality people. A lot more people are just going to say, hey, you know what? You know, yeah, the guy has this quality person. Now, I want to deal with him. So, there are some quality people. Go and do things for them for free. Don't tell anybody you did it for free. Just say, hey, this man is my client. Right? There are some quality people. Go and patronize them. Go and patronize them. Buy things from them. Just because you patronize them, a lot of other people say, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Are you learning, guys? If you're learning, type, I'm learning, I'm learning. Number four that I shared today, get a billionaire mentor. How many of you like me to be your billionaire mentor? Okay, I've done billions, multi-billion in Naira. And, um, you know, we're about to repeat it here in America. Billions in dollars as well in the real estate sector. So how many of you would like me to be your billionaire mentor type, I want you to be my billionaire mentor. 
Come on, type it if that's what you want. Now, if you don't want it, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. But if you want me to be your billionaire mentor, type, I want you to be my billionaire mentor. Come on. Everybody type it. Type it. Type it. Don't do it. Don't type I do. Don't type I like your mentorship. No. The word is type, I want you to be my billionaire mentor. That's the word I ask you to type if you are in, in for this. I want you to be my billionaire mentor. That's the word. I want you to be my billionaire mentor. Everybody type it, type it, type it. If this is what you want. Okay. I can see a lot of you want that. Are you ready to pay? <laughs> That's the next question. Everybody wants that. But are you ready to pay? Okay. I need an answer, by the way, <laughs> because it's easy, you know, to say, hey, um, blah, 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 but are you ready uh, to pay? Because it's not going to be cheap. I, I, mine wasn't cheap, right? Grant is not partnering with me for free. It's costing me money, okay? So, are you ready to pay? That's the question. So, here's the link I promise you. I like to fulfill my promise. Um, so, I'm giving you this link. Tomorrow, you're going to be joining me with Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone will be here live to share with you how he did 8 billion. The link is www.globalwellfestival.com for slash billionaire charts. So, we're going to be having a billionaire chat with a billionaire in dollars tomorrow with Grand Cardone and it's free if you register right now so that's the link copy the link now screenshot the link and as soon as we're done quickly quickly um, go get um, um, sign up it's free so go register right now again www.globalwealthfestival.com for slash billionaire dash chats Okay, this is free. It's tomorrow. It's 1 p.m. Central um, Standard Time. That's Texas time. Um, it is 7 p.m. London time, 7 p.m. Nigerian time, uh, 8 p.m. South African time, 10 p.m. Dubai time. Okay, don't miss it for anything. You're going to be hearing Grant Cardone speak himself. And several other speakers who will be at the event is our Global Wealth Festival pre-event, right? So it's a pre-event where we're able to kind of share with you what you're going to be learning at the event itself. Now, I can say a lot of you want to register for the Global Wealth Festival. So how many of you want discount ticket for the Global Wealth Festival? If you want a discount ticket, so instead of paying $1,000, you will be able to pay just $300 to get a fiscal ticket at the event just $300. Um, um, this is the first time I'm giving anybody this on my page. It's the first time. Uh, but because you guys waited to the end, I want to give that to you right now. So who wants that? Who wants the coupon code to be able to pay? But please, like I said, if you're getting this, um, you have to pay right now. This is not a code um, you're just going to drop and then later um you're gonna use it's gonna it won't work after a while so you have to pay to tonight you know as soon as you leave here you have to use the code global world global world festival dot com again global world festival.com let me see festival i want to be sure the spelling is right global world festival.com is the website and the coupon code you want to use is called gmd bronze gmd bronze so when you use that code it will reduce the price from one thousand dollars to three hundred dollars right for the cheapest ticket um so i'm pinning it right now um 
make sure you go register ASAP and use that code and it gives you that discount. Um, however, if you are joining virtually because you are not in the US and you cannot come physically, all you need to do is just go to the website now. We have reduced the price, but you need to go and do it ASAP because the price is increasing to $400 for the virtual ticket. Yes, you heard me, $400 now for the virtual ticket. Um, but you can go now and get it for $47. But you have to go ASAP, right? $47 um, to get the virtual ticket to be part of the event physically. But tomorrow's event, we're going to be having grants. We're going to be having several other people. And it's free. Uh, the link for that one I've given you earlier, which is globalwellfestival.com forward slash uh, uh, billionaire dash charts. Okay, that's the link for that. Tomorrow, we're going to be having Grant virtually. We're all going to just, it's a pre-event. It's like um, a, a taste of the main event. Okay, so you are going to be having a taste of what we're going to be doing on the 16th of July, 2022. Uh, um, so it's going to be amazing. It's going to be life-changing. And I cannot wait to see you guys there. A lot of you have gotten value today. If you got value type, I got value, I got value, I learned something. My life changed forever. I'm learning. I'm seeing things from a different perspective. Um, this is good. Come on, talk to me, celebrate me. I told you guys, if you wait till I die before you celebrate my good works, my ghost is going to come after you and say, oh, <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way. But yes, I've said to everybody around me, celebrate me now that I'm alive. You see, Africa lack hero because we don't celebrate them when they're alive. We rather get petty. We rather want to focus on their weaknesses, on other things that don't make sense. Right? There's no perfect human being. So when you see somebody doing something good, celebrate what they're doing. They're not perfect. I'm not perfect. A lot of you were expecting me to be perfect. I'm sorry to have disappointed you. I am not perfect. Okay? And you better deal with that. Be okay with that. I'm not perfect. But I have learned to be contented with myself. I love me. I believe I'm a great person. I think I've done my best to add value to humanity. Uh, uh, and, and I don't know about you, but I love me. So it's okay if you don't. But it's important to value people. And that's one of the reasons why we lack heroes in Africa. Right? We don't value them when they are like, the day they die, and I say, ah, and that doctor says he's a good man. He used to teach us how to become rich. The man really wants us to be rich. He's, uh, he's a good person. He will come and teach. I don't know if you agree with me that you should have paid for this. This What I taught you for free now is supposed to be paid for. If you agree, type I agree. This thing I could give you today is supposed to be paid for. It's worth over a $1,000. And I taught you for free, right? So learn to celebrate. And, and a lot of times people just come and say, I want more. Give me this. Give me that. Help me in this. No, learn to be grateful for the little you've gotten. Not to be asking for more. You've gotten one already. Celebrate that. Appreciate that. Okay? I hope you, you get in value, by the way. Uh, not able to get the virtual ticket. The virtual ticket is the same website, globalworldfestival.com. Once you get to the website, you see all the various tickets. Now, the bronze ticket, if you use the code GMD bronze, it will reduce from $1,000 to $300. The virtual ticket, I've already reduced it for you. So just go there and click on virtual and you'll be able to just pay $47. Right for the event holding on the 16th of July 2022. But like I said, tomorrow is like a pre event, but like kind of giving like a pre, okay, before the main event. And that one is globalwealthfestival.com forward slash billionaire dash chat C H A R T S, right? Um, chat as you, the spelling of chat, but with an S. Okay, C H A T S. So www.globalwellfestival.com forward slash billionaire dash chat. That's if you want to attend the pre event tomorrow where Grand Cardone will be there 
other speakers at the that will be speaking at the event will be there and they will be able to share with you and i uh, what they'll be teaching us at the event itself okay and that one is free i've given the link so that you can join free of charge without having to pay anything i love you you are special to me and that's why i'm investing my time my energy to share my story with you to share pathway to building wealth like i repeat it there's nothing to celebrate about poverty if two poor people can't even help themselves okay when both of them are in financial crisis so it's wisdom to build wealth for yourself and your children's children uh my book for, you can go to amazon just type billionaire code and billionaire habit you get the book there's a great gentleman I'm giving a free copy send me an instagram dm and you get that uh my instagram dm uh, handle is dr s i can't tell you I, i'm a lot more on instagram than any other page instagram and tiktok so use this handle dr s both on my instagram and my tiktok you go there you get my attention i love you all and thank you for being part of today's event See you at the top. 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 Mm. You guys are sp special. Hey, thank you. Love you too. Love you too. Love you too. Ungozi. Ungweri. Love you too. Bye bye. Obioha Henry. Love you too. Bye bye. Good night.